Hey, what's up guys? Today I have an unboxing from the cubicle.us. In this package is the new nano cubes, which are the smallest mass produced 3x3s at this time. I would just like to thank the cubicle.us for sending these to me to test, and now let's just get right into it. Okay, so as you can see, I have both a red and a blue one. And they come in quite cool packaging. So let's just get right into, let's see, I'm going to go with the red one. I am actually genuinely concerned that I might lose some of these pieces because they are so tiny. But I'm hoping that does not happen. So let's just check out the contents of this puzzle. So on this little sheet here, it says cube stand. So I'm assuming if I somehow figure out how to put this thing together, it will turn into a cube stand. However, I'm not really sure if I'm going to do that. And then I have no idea what this is, nor do I want to take the time to figure out what it is. And then here's just a diagram on what's going on. So it comes with Maru Lube, which is really nice. I kind of like this packaging. It's really cute and tiny, very travel sized. Then it comes with this little piece here that helps you put it together because I have big hands so I'm going to be very clumsy when trying to figure out how to put this thing together. Oh and peep the ratchet nails. It's really hard to ignore at this point because I'm using a very tiny cube. And there you go. Peep the ratchet nails yet again. So let's zoom in just so we can kind of see in more detail what's going on here. Oh, and here's just the stickers, as well as a cute little patch, which I actually really like. Alright, so on this little package here, we have these parts right here, which are the edges. And if you put them together, they'll create one edge. And then these are the center pieces, and the little center balls or whatever. At this point, I'm not really sure why they included two of those. I'm not sure if this creates two of the actual cubes or if they just sent an extra core, but I'll just have to figure that one out later. All right, I'm actually going to open this up and just show you the pieces. I may not assemble it in this video. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to, but I will at least show the pieces. So this right here is the core. It is so very tiny. I might even like drop this and never see it again. Actually that's a pretty large chance of that happening. I'm the klutziest human being alive. But it is very cute and tiny. And it's just made of like plastic. And then we have these center pieces and judging by the fact that there's only six of them I'm assuming this can only make this package can only make one cube because if it could make two it would have 12 of those which it doesn't so I'm actually gonna quickly put these on here so because I only have 17 minutes left in my memory card I'm actually gonna go off camera and finish assembling the centerpiece but then I will come back and I will show you the edge pieces as well. Okay, after some difficulty I managed to get all of these centerpieces on. One problem I'm having is that this little cap at the top, I'm, I don't even know if it's going to focus this thing so tiny, but it keeps flying off so I'm just going to have to find my super glue which I'm pretty sure I left at school. That's a long story why it's there but um, I, that'll fix the problem if I just super glue them down, but until I can completely assemble it, I will not be super gluing anything unless absolutely necessary. So that's the only real problem I've had there. So now I gotta figure out how to do this part of it. I really have no idea, and I'm gonna try very hard not to lose anything. So let's start with this. And I'm assuming I take another one of these, and let's see how they put together. 
Oh, obviously not like that. I'm not sure that will fit into the cube at all. So let's like quickly try to pry this sucker apart. Okay, so not like that. Clearly I'm struggling. All right, let's see if one of the ones from this side works better. Oh, oh Lord Jesus. It decided to fly all the way over there. All right, let's see if this will fit. Perfection. All right, so we got a corner and I just got to make the other shoot how many corners are there on a Rubik's Cube eight the all the other eight of these which I'm gonna do off camera again because clearly I'm struggling and honestly a video can only have so much struggling in it so I'm gonna do this off camera and then come back okay so at this point I have the centerpiece and the eight corners one thing to mention is that it only comes with the eight corners they don't give you an extra in case you lose a piece no, they don't do that. So, if you choose to purchase this puzzle, just keep that in mind and be very organized when making it because if you lose a piece, it's lost and you're just going to have to purchase another one in order to get the pieces. Now, we are moving on to the edge pieces and I'm assuming this is very similar to that of the corner pieces. You just kind of smash them together and so I'm going to do that off camera as well. And then I'll come back and show you what the piece looks like put together. Okay, so now I have all of the pieces put together. And here's just what an edge looks like. One thing I'm slightly concerned about is that on this corner, the piece that fits into the cube is very, very thin. So I feel like if it even snaps off a bit, the piece will not stay in the core when I go to assemble it. So I'm going to be extra careful when assembling it. And now that I have all of these pieces, that's exactly what I'm going to go do. I might keep filming or I may not. It depends because I only have so much time left on my memory card. But this should be very interesting to say the least to assemble. All right, so by some miracle, this really didn't take me very long, about seven minutes to assemble it, which, to be honest, really isn't that bad. I thought I was going to struggle a lot more than that, and it does function pretty well, but obviously you can't really tell what's going on because there's no stickers, so at this point, I'm going to go sticker it off camera, and I will come back. I finally finished assembling it and adding the stickers and here's the final product it is absolutely adorable and it really doesn't turn that bad considering it's so pruney like honestly this is so small I have big hands but even if you had smaller hands this would be huge like it can fit except that I'm really bad at balancing but it can fit on the tip of my pointer finger like that's insane so just for the heck of it, I'm going to add a bit of Maru Lube. Oh, that's so cute. Everything about this cube is just so cute. All right, let's do... How do I work this? Okay. Oh shoot. See, I'm not the most brilliant person, so I literally just sat and tried to squeeze that in there for the past two minutes, but I have to cut the tip off, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, hang on. Oh, oh gee whiz. I'm just a hot mess right now, aren't I? Alright. I don't think this is going to do anything, but, you know, it's worth a shot. And we're going to pop that piece right back in there and work it in. It actually made it faster, which is a little weird because this is a really small cube, so it really shouldn't be fast. But that's pretty much...
much all for this video. I am going to add a solvent at the end just because that's what I always do. But thank you so much to thecubicle.us for, oh, gee whiz, for sending this to me. And if you would like to see a shape mod, God bless his soul, the cubologist made a Fisher cube out of this. That must, I can't even imagine how much effort and time and patience that took, but I will link you to his video on that in the description. But that is basically all for this video. I will see you in the review of this. And now enjoy the solve of this very, very small puzzle. One minute, eight seconds. Holla, holla.